The early church had a very explosive growth, according to Luke, who tells us in the book of Acts that there were 3,000 converts on Pentecost and that there were 5,000 converts a short time later. Now, most scholars have a tendency to greet that with a smile, accusing Luke of padding his figures. I say no. We have secular outside evidence that Luke is not kidding us. I refer to Paul's letters later on and Luke's record later on in the second mission journey when Paul and Silas and Timothy get to Thessalonica. Do you remember how the opponents of Christianity said these people who have turned the world upside down are here to disrupt us as well. Remember that verse? Well, these people have turned the world upside down. This is only in 51 AD, which is barely, well, Christianity, of course, exploded from the original Pentecost in 33 AD. So we're talking only 18 years later. They've turned the world upside down. I'll take Luke's figures. And beyond that, let me give you pagan evidence that Luke is not kidding. One of the earliest and most important secular references to Jesus comes in the Roman historian Cornelius Tacitus. He writes the famous Annals of Imperial Rome, in which he reports on what happened in the great fire of Rome under Nero in 64 AD. He says that Nero switched the blame for setting fire to Rome to the Christians, and then careful scholar that he is, he explains who they are. They're named for a Christ who was crucified by one of our governors, Pontius Pilate, and the pernicious superstition was almost eliminated, eliminated until suddenly it gained new vigor and flowed even as far as Rome, that common cesspool into which things come from all over the Mediterranean world. And then he says, first the leaders of this pestiferous sect were arrested, and then vast numbers were arrested. I've read the passage 30 times until, wait a minute, that number j jumped out of the text, vast numbers. The Latin is multitudo in gens. This means high hundreds, thousands in Latin. Now here's the point. This is only 31 years after Pentecost. How in the world could Christianity reach Rome 1,500 miles away in only 31 years so that there were a vast multitude of Christians available. Not counting those who hid or fled, which would be nine out of 10, I think. So you have here from pagan sources alone, the proof that Luke is not kidding us.